Well, you have probably noticed it is the time of year the sun is directly in your view when you're heading to work in the morning. This can be very dangerous and has already been a factor in a number of car accidents, one that happened this morning. KMAX Claudia Fuente joins us live from South Lubbock tonight. And Claudia, you spoke with DPS earlier, so what kind of tips do they have to help us avoid the sun glare? That's right, Lauren. They tell me that they've already had several accidents because of the sun. So they're saying before you get in your car, make sure you have a pair of sunglasses ready and you know how to properly use your sun visor. When people put that visor down, they uh, it's folded up so the way they have it down, it's it's going to hit you in your head and you know, it could potentially smack you in your head or your face. These little changes can make a huge difference in your driving experience. We've had a couple of crashes and had one this morning uh, involving the sun. You know, people are leaving and going to uh, work and school in the morning. Well, that sun is just right in the, in the position where it's, you know, infecting people's uh, visibility as they're traveling. And although you may not realize it, sun exposure to your eyes can cause a lot of harm in the long run. The ultraviolet light and sunlight can burn the lens of your eye and over the years that clouds it and that's a cataract. That's why it's recommended to drive with sunglasses to avoid that glare. You want to have a lens that's the proper tint. Polarized lens cuts out reflections off of the flat surfaces. A good window tint can also be your best bet. Tinted windows can help. You want to be sure it's not so dark that at night you have problems with it. If you're not in sunglasses then the tinted windows would help the most. And of course yearly eye checkups and a safe driving distance between between you and another car. I'd leave a little bit earlier and if you still can't see, you know, we exit off, find a safe spot to, uh, to exit and wait about 10 minutes, 15 minutes and the sun will reposition just a little bit. That's right. And for those of you that wear contacts, you can even ask your optometrist for a lens that blocks the UV rays. In South Lubbock, Claudia Puente, KMAC News.